Hello, this is Olivier. I'm just doing a quick video here on optimization. Now, it's a real pity not to use the self-optimizing feature that will come later. Um, but at the moment, I'm testing that feature. But at the moment, I just want to show you how to optimize the EA. Now, uh, it's very simple and it's just a pity more people aren't using it, so I'll do it very carefully, very quickly. Uh, you can see here, okay, this is the normal chart with some bands. Um, this is what my EA does. If you look at my previous videos, it will tell you what, what my strategy is. Um, basically, is to, is to be in a position where you are below the bands, where it does something quite magical, or above the bands, and does something quite magical. I've got a little circle here, so something happened here and something happened here. So this was a pretty good trade today. Um, on um, actually, it's over two days on four hour charts on the euro that uh, the EA did for me and with my optimizations. So you can do your own. You can do your own. You don't. You know, I'll make them for you, but you can do your own. So it's very simple. Um, all you do is go here where you see this, uh, and I'll do this, uh, f sorry if you're a professional and you know MT4 very well, but a lot of people ask me this question. You see here the sign with the little magnifying glass, you click on that, it says strategy tester. You open that and uh, you would have up here uh, all sorts of EAs that would be inside. Uh, you would want to go to the mark, market A black box. Okay, you want to put the symbol here euro okay every tick here you want to put your date i usually start from uh well this is not a good idea but you know you want to start from you want to start from january 2005 15 for instance and and go to today okay today um that is your range where you want to optimize you can do it one month you can do it a year i mean i suggest you don't go back much more than you know, beginning of the year because, or even one month because, you know, broker data is iffy at best. So here you can put, uh, click the optimization. Okay. Very simple. You open your expert property and you can see here I have ticked only four things. Band periods, deviation, ATR periods, ATR multiple. Okay. Uh, you can also do stops and take profits it'll take longer i prefer to leave it at zero because as i explained before we do atr stops and they automatically adjust okay you just put in a value you must put in a stop value here otherwise it doesn't work uh, you can put zero here take profits i've optimized it many times and found that taking profits is not the best way to do it but you you might find that it's you know a good way a good thing to do this is the beauty of this ea i can't stress it enough you can go in there and do your own optimizations. You can do optimizations, you know, morning and evening. I mean, I will do a self-optimizing version, but it's good to do it yourself, honestly. You learn a lot. Um, so what you do here, you have band periods here. Um, you can start from, you know, and then you have to put in a range, okay, to optimize. An optimization range, very simple. So I start at 20 and go to 120, you can see here, and with a one step, basically. Same thing for deviations. I start at 1.5 and I go to 3.5 with a 0.1 step. On ATRs, I start at 20 and go to 120. ATR multiple, I start at 2 and go to 10. I like to you know, help give it a... Here I put false. You can, you can test it. This is basically saying that you may want to close here. Basically, the EA does something here, which I'm which is my secret because that's the whole thing it's not a standard way of dealing with bands uh, but you can close it here okay that's close on MA some people like to do that it could be a good strategy but I've optimized it many times and found that it's better to wait to go, go to here and I'll take more risk but if you want to make more profits maybe you, you stop here or do as I do when the EA buys gives me a point starts buying uh, I will go in, you know, it might go down, I'll go in and buy a bit more, I'll buy a bit more here. 
I might decide what to do here, and uh, finally it will close the position down here somewhere. Okay, so this is the optimization. Um, I leave that. If you have any questions, please post.